So it's starting to get dark. I've already done my work for the day. I've already made the vlog, but I want to let you know I step in a bee's nest close to the end of this vlog and you got to see it. It's worth sticking around for. I scream like a little girl. Wah! I never miss a chance to make fun of myself. Don't forget it. Woo! Hey guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Today we're going to be working over in the field here. I had the guys that are doing my timber run me off a big old pile of wood chips. I'll show you what I've been doing with them so far. We got our Massey Ferguson 135 back from the tractor repair place once again. So it had a little bit of a leak uh, to start with and we took it in and they replaced some seals, put a new clutch on, did several things to it. And probably, I don't know, 45 minutes after running it, it started leaking again. So they stood by their work. We took it back over there and they repaired it. It's good to go now. This is a Massey Ferguson 135 tractor and it has what's called multi-power. Multi-power is something that you may know about and you may not know about. There's a little switch and I'll show you the switch. You flick it up and down. Up engages and down disengages. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous, okay? I'm going to sell this tractor because it's dangerous and I'll explain why multi-power is dangerous and I'll also explain to you what we're doing with the mulch or wood chips from the timber guys. So come on along with me. We'll have a little fun today and, uh, and we'll just add a little organic material back to the farm here. That's what it's all about, rehabbing the land. So come on along guys. Let's get this tractor off the trailer. Woo! Stony Bridge. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you saw what just happened, but when I went to back this tractor off the trailer, which is the most dangerous time you'll ever be driving a tractor is backing it off a trailer, it took off rolling. And that's what multi-power does. It lets your tractor roll off. Come here, I'll show you what multi-power is. Who's that lady right there? Getting ready to offend some Massey Ferguson people, but I don't care because this tractor is dangerous. Here's what multi-power is. Multi-power. It's a little knob right here. Flick down and up. In the down position, the tractor will roll away down a hill with you. I had it in the down position when I went to back off the trailer and it took off with me. You have to have it up in order for the transmission to hold you back. This is dangerous. I'm gonna put a screw right here to keep me from ever disengaging this because it's dangerous. So we got the tractor back from the shop. It's all right, it's good to go, but that multi-power is dangerous. I'm either gonna sell this tractor because I'm kinda scared of it. You can call me a wuss, you can call me whatever, but I don't wanna die and I don't want the tractor to roll off down the hill and run into my car. I've got two options here. I'm gonna either zip a screw in so I can't disengage that multi-power or I'm gonna sell it. Just the way it is. Let's go get some mulch up. Here's what we're doing with the mulch. We had a spot right here that the soil was very, very poor and there was a big patch of pine trees right here. We took all those out and now we're taking the wood chips that we're getting from the timber and putting them over here to beautify this area. Pretty awesome. We're gonna put plants all the way around here, flowers or whatever. And I'll show you another neat little thing I've done. So see this? This is a water hose. We don't have permanent water down to the garden yet. Uh, we, we really don't know how long we're gonna be in this area. The house is right here we're gonna build somewhere on the farm and we don't really know where we're gonna build so we haven't put, put like permanent infrastructure in so what I did I had to get water across to the garden over here so I took a piece of pipe I'll show you I took my water hose and I ran it through this pipe and then the pipe allows us to run over this and cross the driveway so before I put that pipe down we were just unhooking and hooking the hose back up and that seemed dumb to me so we got a nice heavy duty piece of pipe and I'm running over it with that giant trailer does just fine tractors just fine so that's how we got our water hose across the driveway so we could water our garden our garden that's being eaten by the deer guys I caught a lot of flack for having so many tractors on the farm we've got three tractors I hope you'll understand now why we have three tractors we have a big farm okay this is a big place I'm driving down the driveway right now which is probably a thousand feet long got about a half a mile to go to get over to where we're gonna pick up the wood chips so 
this place is big and you can't get by with just one tractor if you want to be successful. It just takes too much time. There you go. This is country life, guys. It's the life I dream about. All right. Unload. We've taught Buddy to only get out of the truck if we put our hand on him. So he never jumps out of the back of the truck. He never jumps out of the back of the gator. We only release him with our hand on him. Come here, Buddy. Let's show him. Load up. Load up. Come here. Come. Give me a hug. Oh. Unload. Load up. Come here. Come. See it. See it. Shake. Good boy. Bacon. Underwear. Uncapable. Unload. Unload. See? Works great. Buddy's gonna keep me company over here. Woo! Tony Rich Farmer because this stuff is starting to decompose and turn into compost. Awesome, awesome stuff. Free compost for the farm. Big pile, little pile. We're going to take this over and we're going to dump it on the other side of the farm and we're going to do this until we get all that done. Let me show you where all of this stuff comes from. Man, it's hot out here. Guys, in case you didn't know, this is garbage wood. This is a chipper and it is huge. This garbage goes into that and turns into that. Rad, I'm so glad to be living in America where we can compost. All right, let me show you how this machine works. It's got a great old big diesel engine. The wood goes into this side and it comes out, it goes through some chipper blades. Here's our great big diesel engine and it shoots, there, there's our engine, huge. And it shoots out that chute right there. Boom, right into the back of the tractor trailer, which there's one right up there. These wood chips are biofuel. This is used in making biofuel. It's shipped up to Virginia, a place in Alta Vista, I believe. Alta Vista, Virginia. It's Southwest Virginia. It's where this goes to make biofuel. So right now, trees that we're cutting on this farm are going in that chipper, into here, into chips, and going to make biofuel. And that is awesome. So here we are, guys, dumping the final load off. Uh, it proved to be three loads, maybe four. And basically, we're gonna dump this big load of uh, mulch right here. <laughs> I got in a bee's nest. The little suckers attacked me. Oh, I'm glad you got to see that. Ow. I think I only got one sting, a little turd. I'm glad I got the camera. Stupid yellow jacket. Well, anyway, guys, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I don't know where that nest is. I got worried about a nest maybe being close by, but let's get back to the video, be a man. Even after I scream like a little girl. So guys, as you can see here, this is quite the load of mulch. We're gonna pull forward and the rest of it will slide out. Kind of cool, just thought I'd take you along with me today and show you what we're getting done here on the farm. So I'm gonna spread this out. This whole little area right here is kind of just overgrown and rocky. It's too steep to mow. So eventually all this area will be filled and we're gonna mulch this area around these trees so that it looks nice and we can't mow up next to it because it's got great big rocks in it. So thanks a lot for coming guys. Thanks a lot for watching the vlog today. I appreciate you. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Woo! I cried like a little girl when I got stung by that bee. It was awesome. <laughs> You guys have a total right to make fun of me now.